Uh, I really don't want to talk about this again. But unfortunately, we kind of got to. We're going to talk about the Engine of Vengeance, guys. Oh, man. Hey, guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. So, guys, uh, honestly, I wasn't really going to talk about this, but we really sort of have to. Yeah, I'm going to bring up the Engine of Vengeance again. HasLab's current project, and yeah, it... I don't know. It, it, it's really odd. It seems like they've pretty much abandoned this project. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of right now. They really have sort of left this alone for the last couple of weeks, ever since New York Comic Con. We've heard nothing, absolutely nothing about this project. And I have to say, if they don't do something soon, this project is pretty much destined to fail. It seems as if right now, at this stage, literally six or seven days, they really have pretty much gone silent and we don't know what's going on. So guys, I thought we'd do our own kind of guesswork here and try to figure out what tiers would have been possible and see if there's any salvaging this project. But guys, before we get started, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. I also have a Patreon page, guys, and it would really mean the world to me if you at least would check it out and if you are in the position to help out the channel, please. Patrons are the lifeblood of this channel, and I really appreciate all the support. Thank you very much. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this and take a look and see if there's anything that could possibly salvage this HasLab project. So I've been mentioning this on a couple of my live streams that I've been doing lately. I, I really don't know what's going on over at Hasbro Pulse. The HasLab Engine of Vengeance project for Ghost Rider, I, I think they're concerned more with additional things that are happening and coming up rather than trying to get to the finish line for this HasLab project. I mean, take a look at the front page alone. Normally around this time, there would be a huge banner right at the front advertising for Ghost Rider. But instead, we have the Premium Plus 1027, we have Phase 2 Clone Trooper Helmet, we have the Retro Collection for Return of the Jedi, Marvel Legends War Machine, comic version of Moon Knight? There's even a board game for Avalon Hill. And then finally, just below that, is the banner for the Ghost Rider HasLab. It's almost as if they have completely abandoned this project. There are only 6 days, 18 hours and 43 minutes left, and as of this moment, oh my god, 4,890 backers now. This is absolutely nuts. Just before the Robbie Reyes deadline, it had gotten close to the 6,100 mark. But soon as Robbie Reyes did not unlock the trend downward, and it just has continued to lose backers ever since. And to be honest with you, the silence is deafening. The Marvel HasLab team really needs to do something. There really is no more time. With six days left, it's imperative that they release the rest of the tiers to try and drum up some sort of interest. And and I don't understand what the hang-up is. I mean, we already know that Goal Zero is Madeline Pryor. We know that Tier 1 is Mephisto. And the only thing left to do is to wait for the, for the last two tiers. And it's not like this hasn't been done before. G.I. Joe, when they first announced the Sky Striker, they didn't even wait. They actually unveiled every single tier right off the bat. We knew that Scarlet was going to be the first tier, Ripcord was going to be the second tier, and Ketchup and Mustard would be the absolute third tier. All of those things were laid bare, and then when the project did not meet expectations, the G.I. Joe team went for broke and gave up additional tiers, including a sticker pack, and of course, Mickey Mouse Coco, as well as two additional Viper Troopers. This pretty much saved this HasLab. Hail Mary, if you will, was actually launched, and this completely saved the campaign. As a matter of fact, if we look at the Star Wars campaign, this was dead in the water even before the Sky Striker. The Star Wars team recognized this and went ahead and unveiled all of the tiers. They knew they had to get some sort of excitement and unfortunately each and every subsequent tier was met with anger. Gumarian Guard, the bones, Salacious Rum, I mean he's just too small of a character to be considered a real incentive. And of course the figure which could have saved the campaign was all the way at the end at 19,000 backers. It was absolutely crazy. At least they had the foresight to release them all to try and get some interest into the project again. Right at the very last minute it was decided that they would include a bonus tier just to get more people interested and they released Malakili, 
the Rancor Keeper as a last ditch effort to try and save this project. That is something very important to try and show that you have confidence in the brand. Right now, it's actually crazy to think that we haven't heard anything since New York Comic Con and only two tiers have been revealed. Honestly, Marvel has that team. What's going on? Talk to us. Tell us what's happening. We really need to find out what else is going on with these tiers. Is there going to be a third tier? Is there going to be a fourth tier? Was that even planned? These are questions people have. And you know what? We're all on bated breath to find out which of these tiers is actually going to save this project, if any. I mean, when you look at how many different villains could be possibly included to try and salvage this, it's absolutely crazy. Obviously, we have Mephisto, who a lot of people were hoping to get anyway, and that was a hugely exciting tier. But we also have villains like Lilith, the mother of all demons. I mean, people have been looking forward to something along these lines forever, considering Madeline is also, you know, the Goblin Queen. But this one, a Ghost Rider villain, so I think she's much more appropriate than Madeline Pryor. Zadkiel, a fallen angel. How much more appropriate would this guy be? He's just monstrous, really has that presence. And I think it would really be something which people would get excited about. And then of course, Blackheart, come on. Blackheart? I mean, he crosses so many different genres. He was in the movie, part of a video game franchise with Marvel superheroes and Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, this guy alone could possibly do things. Zarathos. You need to dig really, really deep when you get into these Ghost Rider villains. This is the time to really showcase what it is that you're doing to support this brand. Guys, there's no more time. You need to do something fast. This HasLab project is very much in danger of going the way of the Rancor and the Reva lightsaber. This needs some support. We need something to get excited about this. Guys, do not sleep on this. Release all the tears. Get people excited. Show that there's more to this than everyone is expecting. I'm not sure if that's going to help any, but it really does not look good if you just abandon a project. People are just going to lose confidence in the old idea of HasLab's, and honestly, it's not going to do good for anything going forward. Guys, don't stay silent. Break the radio silence. Make this happen. Release all of the tears. Oh, man. I, I, I'm not sure what to think anymore. I, I'm really, I'm at wit's end. Normally, around this time, there would be a huge push, and I mean a massive push, to try to get to the finish line. Even with the Rancor, where, you know, right until the end, they at least gave us some sort of indication that there was additional tiers, uh, you know, getting prepared, and that you could reach these goals if you just did something, of course, backing the project. They even went so far as to offer another character, Malakili. But in this case, with the HasLab Engine of Vengeance, it seems like the Marvel HasLab team seems to have pretty much gone radio silent and they are not talking anymore at all. Ever since, uh, you know, several interviews uh, and uh, I guess a post from one of their uh, designers on Instagram, everything else has gone completely silent. New York Comic Con was the last time they actually showcased the uh, HasLab Engine of Vengeance in the public and they showcased two of the stretch goals, Madeline Pryor and of course Mephisto. But that's pretty much it. That's as far as it went. After that, it has been literally silent. And guys, this never looks good on a company when they're not even supporting their own brand. And I understand there are problems with this uh, particular project, but that doesn't mean that sh they, they should give up on it. They should really try until the very end to try and get this back. I mean, they're still nearly... I mean, they're over half the, the halfway mark, and we do know that the very last day people do tend to back this thing just because of the fear of missing out. But as it seems right now, the sliding scale just keeps going lower and lower and lower. Guys, please leave in the comment section below, what do you think of this situation? Uh, is, there any, is there any salvaging this project? Which of these, I guess, you know, supervillains or, uh, you know, stretch goals would you have backed or would have been major, a major interest to you uh, trying to get this project uh, you know more interest and are there any sort of redeeming factors in terms of like which villains possibly could have given anybody some interest in order to try and get this thing off the ground or is this pretty much a lost cause and the radio silence from Marvel seems to pretty much put that nail in the coffin and they really aren't interested any longer in supporting this project Please, guys, leave those comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. 
Man, this is just crazy what's happening with toys right now. I hope this turns out the best, but you just never know. Geek proud, everybody. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow, and I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.